everybody welcome back to Sharon from vivid days it's evening so I am chasing the light and I'm hoping that you're gonna be able to see this we're gonna have some fun tonight and get creative I just have some colors in mind the feel of autumn but no set image so we're gonna have some fun so I'm working on a black tile it's all been leveled and I have chosen the six colors that I want to work with so the first one are the winter selection from the Colour Cottage. So this one is emerald green. Beautiful colours and glitter. Which should hopefully complement my coffee bean brown. So mint and chocolate. And also my autumn gold. And then I'm going to come with my casting craft, yellow and red, and the soapery sunset orange. And I'm hoping that when I put these together, you are just going to get the feeling of autumn. Uh, and then hopefully we should get some different depths from using the different pigments and everything like that. So I've mixed my resin, which is Mastercast one-to-one -one for this one. I have broken my glass uh, measuring drug and waiting for my silicone one so I apologize I'm using this one plastic cup but I will reuse that over and over for other things and that is all mixed up and I'm now going to distribute the colors and because I don't have a measuring cup I'm not exactly sure how much I've measured I know that I did it part one and part two exactly the same mix them together for three minutes but I do have other boards as a backup if I've used enough for this piece because I hate to waste resin and please make sure you do wear a face mask or a respirator when you are dealing with pigments because they are such fine particles and they blow in the air so please make sure you follow the manufacturing um, information so I'm just going to get my six uh, cups here which are my silicone ones and I'm going to share out my resin evenly and then leave enough for down here so that is two four five six going to be interested in pouring this put these to one side and then I can capture any spillages on my tile so I definitely I'm going to have heaps of resin left over with my other pieces fairly evenly spread I'm just going to rub a little bit onto my tile because that helps create some effects it only needs a thin coat because you can dilute your colour doing that and I'm probably going to add some to this one as well so I'll leave that just there in case I do need any clear left I'm just going to rub this with my hands around I love it when you come home from work and you're like, right, I just want to get into the studio and create. Because normally that's when you're going to create something that you're really proud of. Okay, so I'll take my gloves off. Oh, <laughs> my blanket that I use to try and partition my door frame has just, just fallen down on me. All right, so I am going to torch this just to remove any bubbles and heat it up. And that'll just help my resin flow a lot easier. So I'm thinking of doing a um, flip cup, flip cup <laughs> on one half and then a flip cup on the other but I'm going to work from the center with both of them and let it spread out keep some color back so that I can then come and add some bold color and then see what the resin tells me it wants me to create with it
All right, let's have a go at layering, please. So I want my green to be on top. So I'm gonna put some of that in first. When I add the colors, I am going to pour them down the side so that they don't break up too much. A little bit more. That's my green. And now my coffee being brown. And then to top that off, the autumn gold. Gently down the side to try and avoid mixing too much. I know that this is going to be a big cup anyway already so I'm gonna go here and that itself is probably gonna fill a lot of this so with these colors I'm probably gonna use slightly less in the cup but what do I want at the top <coughs> so I'm gonna go with my red first back with my on top with my orange so go back slowly over it let it drip down the side and then I'm gonna top off with my yellow There we go. And let's hope this is going to look pretty damn good. I might put this down there if I'm going to get some drip offs. But I'm mindful that I will only have a certain amount of working time, so I just need this to do its thing. Come with a blowtorch, see where it wants to be, shape it, and then move on to the next piece. So what do we think? Do we think we're going to have got some amazing colours there? Let's have a little look. Oh wow. That looks so yummy, that green. And the gold and the brown. That in itself is probably going to be enough. What I might do is put this down here and then do a runoff onto it. I'm thinking that I want to take off the red. This doesn't belong on that, so I'm going to do something drastic. And I'm going to scoot this over.
Okay. Let me take my glove off and get the torch on this. Okay, so that added no value whatsoever. But I'm going to keep playing. If this isn't gonna actually make an image or if it's just gonna be the base uh, for something that I'll do because I am really restricted with where I'm working on this and I really do not want it to to go on the piece that's just down here Yeah, so I think I just have to face it that this one, uh, these three colours alone were never going to be a nice combination. They were meant to have been with the greens and the gold. So I think I'm just going to have to accept that I need to just leave this one. Um, it'll be a good base for something uh, because I'm not really going to be able to make anything out of that. It's really just red, yellow and a little bit orange. But I will remove bubbles and make it as flat as possible so that when I come back and work on this it'll be a good surface to work on so stick to my main one so that I can just go back over this and make sure I'm happy with the design that I've done time to put this one to bed and see how I feel about this in the morning. So I've just finished working on this piece and it is dark so there's a lot of reflection so you're not going to get to see all the detail in this but I will come back tomorrow once it's all set and see how I feel about this see what it sets like and see if it needs any more work. I do love this colour coordination though 
I really like the very beginning page when it's really the dark brown and the chocolate so I might come back I'm not too sure uh, and the one over there is no good in the back they're just going to be base coats ready for coming back but there's some pretty cool textures um, pretty cool blending and image so let's just see what the morning brings have a wonderful evening And welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. It's night time, so you're not really going to see the vibrancy of this, but I'm so excited to show you. So I'm going to go to the top right hand corner. There are some beautiful deep browns, gold, and that lovely mint colour. 
which is like a mint chocolate with a gold um, mirror leaf on top right and I'm bringing you down and there's that beautiful copper gold leaf over the top of it down to the bottom right there's some beautiful textures into the middle and and in those swirls and the way that that gold leaf just sits on the top it's just so yummy you just probably can't see it so on my next video I'll show you in and I've taken my copper leaf up here as a feature so top left coming down through to the bottom left so I absolutely love this piece this video lighting isn't doing it any justice and um, if I was to lift it up let me see if I can get any of the sorry the what am I trying to show you really the gold and the shimmers from the colors and the sparkle uh, but the light's just reflecting on it really badly but love the colors I'm going to explore working with this dark um, brown and the mint green because I think that that just makes an absolutely uh, beautiful combination and that honey gold there so I've used the color cottage as you're aware at the front of the video I've embellished it at the end with the gold mirror and the copper leaf in I just think this makes an absolutely stunning winter piece but I would love your thoughts remember if you like my art thumbs up subscribe and share comments are always always welcome i love 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 to interact with you and i love to hear about your journey and have the most amazing evening get creative and i will see you on the next yummy video